Boeing and Airbus have been competing for half a century, with various models of both brands proving successful to the day. While you and I may compare the reliability record of used car brands when purchasing a car, that got me thinking. What if we applied the same rationale to used aircraft models? Which brand produces aircraft models that last longer before retirement? In this video, I will compare every commercial passenger aircraft type produced by both brands by examining their average age of retirement. While this comparison may not be scientific in nature, it will provide an interesting glimpse into both the reliability and popularity of each brand's models. To be clear, not every model of aircraft is retired because of reliability concerns. For example, many A380s were retired early simply due to market conditions. This was not an issue of reliability, but simply of how the world was operating during the pandemic. With that disclaimer out of the way, let's dive into each brand's first aircraft. I am excluding the Boeing 707 from the calculation, and will firstly take a look at the Boeing 727. The 727 has, for the most part, been completely retired by all airlines across the world. However, the type turned out to be a huge commercial success. Many of the types were used until 40 years of age, with the median around the 35-year mark. This is an incredibly impressive figure and was helped by the fact that 727s were frequently converted into freighters after initial retirement. Before I dive into Airbus's first jet, please consider subscribing if you've enjoyed this video thus far. Also, hitting the like button would be appreciated. The Airbus A300 also served a long life, with its average lifespan about 33 years. This was also helped by conversions into cargo aircraft, which was very popular in the 80s and 90s. The A310, on the other hand, was much less popular, but still was kept in service for a long while, with some carriers only recently retiring the type, or in the case of some Iranian carriers, still operating the aircraft. The Boeing 767 also proved to be a well-aged aircraft, with modern variants still in service, and older variants in service with cargo airlines. For the variants that have been retired, the average age is around 27 years. The quad jets operated by both carriers have had very different histories. The 747, for example, had a historic use across airlines, from the 70s until today. While many of these jumbo jets are in service as cargo aircraft, and some Dash 8 variants still operating as passenger airliners, the older variants, similar to the Dash 200, were in service for an average length of about 30 years. This is an impressive for a quad jet designed in the 60s, and proves to be the best performing wide-body quad jet to date. In comparison, the Airbus A340 was retired earlier than most any aircraft, facing stiff competition from the 777 and more efficient twin jets. While there are still some in service today, the A340 was retired on average at about 26 years of age, with many retired at about only 20 years of service. The A380 is a little complicated to calculate, with many carriers having retired the type within 15 years. But Emirates, holding half the total active fleet, has not retired almost any. This makes it very hard to calculate average retirement age, but if we were to do so based on available data at the moment, the figure would likely land in the high teens to low 20s. This number will likely increase as Emirates holds onto the type, then eventually retires them in a decade or so. It's fascinating that in this case, a single airline will define the longevity of an entire model. Finally, let's take a look at the narrow bodies. The 737 has proven to be the second best-selling commercial airliner in the world, only narrowly eclipsed a few weeks ago by the A320. However, because the 737 has been around for longer, it does boast a slightly higher average at about 26 years of age compared to the A320CO's 25. Newer variants are still in service across the world, but many older variants like the Dash 200 have been retired. The 757 is one of Boeing's most reliable models, with an average retirement age of 27 years, which is very high for a narrow body that runs frequent flight cycles compared to a wide body. You may be wondering, how have the 
777, A330, 787, and A350 all performed. Well, you could make an argument that the A330 and 777 are old enough to start comparing, but overall, not enough of the aforementioned widebody fleets have been retired to generate any tangible retirement figures. So, the question remains, in general, which brand, Boeing or Airbus, has longer-lasting aircraft models? Well, I think Boeing clearly does have an advantage, simply because they've been around for much longer. Even when removing the 707 from calculations, they do have longer-lasting aircraft. While Airbus has had long-lasting models like the A300, A320, and A330, their averages are brought down by the A340 and A380. Boeing models seem to be slightly more consistent across the board in longevity, though again, this is more so due to market conditions than actual aircraft reliability. In fact, some could argue that in the modern era, issues with the 737 MAX and 787 Dreamliner worsen Boeing's reliability record compared to Airbus. But as always, time will tell. Now, I'm curious about what you think of this comparison. Which brand is more reliable in your experience? Let me know in the comments. Either way, I hope you've enjoyed this video and will consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell. Also, if you're here in the first week after upload, hit the hype button as well. All your support is very much appreciated and allows more videos like this one to be published. Anyways, that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next.